Android 12 is a spectacular update, but only for the pixels. And that's because every other OEM chose to stick with their principles instead of following a completely new design language that Google calls Material U. Some OEMs like OnePlus even managed to ruin their software by releasing their vision of Android 12, which brought about an overwhelmingly negative response. They had to pull the plug. So that's why I think now is the perfect time to show you how to give your Android the pixel experience it deserves, from the home screen to even some similar pixel exclusive software features. So drop a thumbs up to show your support and get subscribed with the notification bell turned on. Only a few people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so let's try to change that and I'm sure you won't regret it. Plus, you can always change your mind later. Now let's start with that home screen, because God knows it needs some help if you're still running stock. You have two options. Nova Launcher 7 or Launcher 12. Both are very similar to the Pixel Launcher. Each include the basics like a swipe up app drawer, vertical scrolling, Google search bar, and the discover panel on the leftmost screen if you download their add-on apps. Launcher 12 is the better option though if you don't want to mess around with too many settings to match the Pixel Launcher. Plus it's replicated a few more Pixel Launcher exclusives. Things like themed icons to have your Google apps match the colors of your wallpaper, Plus, they even switch to a black background when you switch to dark mode. In a future update, the developers even promised to theme a ton more icons. It also comes with an at-a-glance widget, which you can disable, a universal search bar within the app drawer if you have a rooted Pixel device running Android 12, and it even supports dynamic wallpaper-based themes where the accent color matches the color palette of your set background. Nova Launcher doesn't have any of these features, but it does let you customize a lot of tinier options. We're not gonna get into the differences, but if you want to learn more about each launcher in detail, I'll drop my reviews in the card section. So now that you chose your launcher, I suggest changing the home screen grid to something a bit more reasonable. 5x5 is what the Pixel Launcher maxes out at, but honestly, that still leaves the widgets at a pretty massive size. Instead, I would change the rows to something like eight or nine, and I would leave the columns at five. That way your icons don't look as crammed, and you still get enough space to work with vertically to change the size of those Pixel widgets. Another thing I would do if you're on Launcher 12 is go into the general section and enable themed icons, notification dots, and change the accent color to wallpaper instead of system. Jump out of there and go into the home screen section. Within this menu, you have the option of removing the at-a-glance widget. Go back and within the dock section, toggle on apply accent color so that your search bar icons match the color of your wallpaper. Go back again and then within the app drawer section, enable fuzzy search so that way you can get an easier time searching for apps even with typos. And that's pretty much it for the launcher settings. Also a quick tip, I know that the themed icons feature within launcher 12 only themes certain Google apps for now. So what I ended up doing to get all of my apps to follow the color palette of my background is I instead applied an icon pack called Pix Material U Light Slash Dark. It just got released earlier this month, and like magic, almost every app I have installed follows the colors of my wallpapers. They even have a dark mode whenever I switch to the system dark theme. It's incredible. The app already supports over 4,600 icons, so the majority of your app drawer will get themed. I highly recommend you check it out if you're trying to go full material you. I'll even be giving away over 50 promo codes on my Twitter and Instagram at HowToMen in a few days, so make sure to follow me there if you like a chance at winning one. Now the widgets and wallpapers are where you can really get creative because you have so many options to choose from. If you search up Android 12 widgets or wallpapers on the Play Store, you'll find plenty of options out there, most of which are pretty terrible. Luckily for you, I've already done the dirty work and created a list of some of the best KWGT widget packs that help you get those Android 12 widgets and even some awesome inspired ones. The first one is Android 12 widgets for KWGT Pro. It has the most accurate selections of widgets that are extremely similar to the Android 12 Pixel widgets. It has the clocks, the weather pills, the YouTube music player, and more. Plus, I love that all the widgets are wallpaper based to match the color palette of my chosen background. It's got all the basics and recreates the Android 12 widgets really well. The only downside is that it doesn't have that many widgets to choose from, and it's not going to get into the creative side of things. So my second favorite choice is Android 12 U KWGT. This widget pack has so many beautiful Android 12 inspired widgets that take it a step further from what Google even provides. Like if I gave a Google designer the freedom to make a ton of extra material U widgets, I think this is what they would make. Along with the basics, this pack comes with widgets for the calculator, phone app, Google Assistant, extra options for the music player, calendar events, and clock widgets. 
all of which have wallpaper-based colors and are super creative and googly, which I like. If we go a bit more abstract while still trying to keep a tiny bit of that Android 12 design, Snow Cone for KWGT is an excellent option. It changes things up immensely and makes your home screen look fancy and elegant. It also color matches your wallpaper and provides some unique options. But again, it's not gonna be a complete replication of those Android 12 widgets. Finally, I love Uzuri KWGT because it has so many unique widgets that no other competitor has. For example, it has widgets that let you read the news, another for seeing how many steps you've walked, and even some interactable ones that when you tap on them, they provide different types of data. Pretty neat. The best part is that underneath the global section of the KWGT settings, you can even customize the widgets immensely with just a couple of taps. Just shows how much blood and sweat the developer put into this app. Finally, an honorable mention is KGGM Material for KWGT. It also tries to recreate the Android 12 widgets to the dot, and it does a great job for the most part. It's just some widgets are more of a hit than others. There are also plenty of options out there for the wallpapers that will provide a beautiful setup, but there are only a few that will give you that pixel-inspired theme. Let's start with some exciting live wallpapers. There's an app called Doodle Live Wallpapers that lets you have the same live wallpapers from some Google phones. For example, it has the entire Doodle collection from the Pixel 4, animating several elements whenever I switch screens or unlocking the phone. Or I can even have some other Material U walls, some of which were inspired by the Pixel 6. And get this, each one can even turn dark whenever I enable the system dark theme. Absolutely beautiful. You can also customize the zoom intensity of the shapes on the wall, the shape size, enabling a tilt effect where the shapes follow the movement of your hand, and a lot more. The best part is that it's completely free with no ads or in-app purchases. If you prefer to stick with a static background so that your battery doesn't get affected, I recommend checking out Pixel Wallpapers. You may have never heard of this app before since it's not on the Play Store, but it's basically a huge repository of almost every Google Pixel wallpaper ever released. It has the official walls from the Pixel 6, Pixel 5, 4, 4a, and even a few from several events like Hispanic Heritage Month, Arts and Culture, and Community Lens. It downloads everything quickly and applies them in Full HD. If we switch to wallpapers created by the community, Pix Wallpapers is one of the best options out there and it's free to use. Many of them bring the perfect combination for color-based themes since the icons and widgets will choose a great color that stands out from the wall instead of blending it in. It's even got a lot of uniquely colored photograph shots that will look beautiful on any home screen. Plus you even have some special ones for the holidays. Some other great options include Wall Fever and Team Pixel Wallpapers. I'm not gonna lie, they are pretty pricey at $5, but I'll be giving away 60 promo codes on my Twitter and Instagram at HowToMen for a chance of getting it for free, so make sure to follow me there. Anyways, these wallpaper packs have some juicy, exclusive pixel-inspired walls that I'm sure you'll fall in love with. Starting with Wall Fever, here you'll find hundreds of premium, high-quality walls inspired by the Android 12 update. Sure, there are a few that you may never use, but you'll for sure find some bangers that will perfectly match the setup that you're going for. I even love that the app provides the color palette to each wall so that I can modify the widget colors and system accent color if I'm running Android 11 or if the phone doesn't support wallpaper-based themes. Team Pixel Wallpapers is a newer app that just got released and these walls are a lot more googly and exciting than what Wall Fever provides. Every single one is very colorful and has abstract flat shapes and groovy elements that can bring excitement and fun to your home screen. Plus, with every Google feature drop, the developer creates some new walls that are inspired by that update. It's honestly the perfect app for Pixel fans out there. Now that you have plenty of tools to create a spectacular Pixel-style home screen, there are only a few things left to do. You're going to want to replace some of your essential apps with Google ones. The easy ones are the phone by Google app, Google Messages, Gmail, Chrome, etc. These are all on the Play Store to download for free if your phone supports them, the tougher app to replace though is the camera app because Google doesn't let you download theirs and for a pair of reasons too, cause every smartphone has a different camera module. Still, we all love those beautifully processed Google pictures so getting that Google camera may be a huge advantage. The best way to get it is by heading over to this XDA article linked right below the like button and here you'll find a huge list of devices that have a Gcam port. Unfortunately, they don't support every phone like the OnePlus 9 Pro or Galaxy S21 Ultra, but there's still plenty of supported devices. Also, some Gcam ports work better than others since these are all created by the community and each app is different. So you'll need to see if your supported Gcam is even worth using in the long run. Sometimes it's not. 
Next, we all know that Pixel is also compact with exclusive features that no other phone has. Things like screen call to have the assistant answer scam calls, or the now playing feature which lets you automatically know the name of a song playing in the background when you check your lock screen or always on display. Unfortunately, there isn't an all-in-one app that magically lets you bring all those Pixel exclusive features onto your phone unless you flash a custom ROM, but I did find some apps that provide you with a similar experience. For the screen calling feature, you can instead use context from the Play Store and it has a very similar functionality. Anytime you receive a call and decline it, context will ask the caller why they're calling and you can read the transcript to see what the person is saying and decide if you'd like to accept or decline the phone call. It's compatible with most mobile carriers out there and setting it up is very easy. You can even change the greeting to anything you'd like within the app settings. I also love quick tap on the Pixels to let me double tap the phone's back to launch a task or application quickly. It's pretty useful for when I need to ask Google Assistant something or I need to take a screenshot. To get this feature on other Androids though, you'll need to download Tap Tap through the link in the description. It honestly works even better than what Google provides. It supports a ton more actions. You can do triple taps. Set restrictions so that the gesture doesn't run when you're doing certain tasks and a lot more. For the now playing feature, Shazam has a similar function. It's called Auto Shazam and you can enable it within Shazam settings. So anytime Shazam hears music, it'll identify the song and notify you when it gets a match. It's just as accurate as finding song names and even works when the screen is off. If you'd like to see the songs it's identified, you just tap on the notification. It also doesn't use that much battery in the background, which is nice. Finally, the Pixels have this simple automation tool within the settings called Rules. It's nothing crazy, but it does let you change your ringer mode based on your location and the Wi-Fi network you connect to. Well, you can do the same thing with almost every other automation app out there. My favorite choice though is MacroDroid. It makes it so easy to create automated tasks, plus you can do so much more, and they even have templates that you can use, all of which are created by other users. The sky is the limit with this app, or at least the Android API. So that's how you can give your Android the Pixel experience it deserves without rooting your device. If you'd like to take it a step further, Google also made the Android 12 and 12L updates available in the form of a GSI file so that you can flash it on a much wider range of devices. So if you have a OnePlus 9, ZTE Axon 30, Xiaomi Mi 11, or any other phone on this list, you can technically get the same Android 12 software that the Pixels have. But you do have to be a bit tech savvy to do this and I'm sure you'll experience plenty of bugs once you get the software. Either way, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, a quick thumbs up would go a long way to help this video get noticed by the YouTube algorithm. Also, while you're at it, why not get subscribed with the notification bell turned on? I promise quality videos like this are a weekly thing on the channel and you're not gonna wanna miss out. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!